In this video, we're gonna take a look at a product called Stream to Your Car. Stream to Your Car is a relatively cool product. What it is is a complete Android operating system. In this case, it's Android 11 on a device that is basically the size of a pack of cards. It interfaces to your car using CarPlay. You plug it in by USB and it will automatically boot up. Now, obviously your car has to have CarPlay and you have to have a USB port to be able to activate that CarPlay. But once you plug it in, a few seconds later, it'll interact with your car's interface, basically through CarPlay, and you'll have a complete Android system. Now, because we're using the built-in CarPlay in the vehicle, you need to connect your phone to the built-in CarPlay inside the stream to your car device itself. The reason for this disclaimer is you have a complete Android system at your fingertips and you probably should not be playing videos or watching games while going down the road. So you agree to this agreement that you're not going to be stupid and do something like that. And you're given a relatively simple interface. It's kind of a dummy down version of Android that makes it really simple to operate from the car. But what you do have is Google Play, which basically gives you access to anything in the Play Store. Since there is no home button on your screen like you have on your phone, there's a virtual home button down here in the corner and you can move it around. And everything is fairly fluent. There's a little bit of a delay, but it's not too bad. It's easily workable. It's not the fastest system in the world, but it's definitely not the slowest. The audio of the Android system plays through your car's speakers, and you're also gonna have to connect to something if you wanna use the internet on this device. So if you have a hotspot on your phone, you can absolutely connect this back to your phone through the hotspot and have full internet. So you're probably going to ask yourself, why would you want to be able to play videos on your car or stream to your car? Well, you might not. You might just want that full access Android system that is easy for all of us to use. Android Auto sometimes cripples some of those apps that you want to play in your car. And if you have the full Android environment, well, you just play the app as you normally would. Now, one thing to note that I notice is if you have it plugged into your car, you cannot plug your phone into here and charge it. At least I cannot. I have a Pixel 6 Pro when I try to plug my phone into this box, into the USB port, it just reboots the computer because it's pulling too much power. Now, obviously, if you had another USB port or another way to charge your phone, that would be fine and acceptable, but it is something to keep in mind that you're going to be utilizing that USB port in your car to run the computer itself. The system is fully compatible with Android or Apple. It seems to work pretty flawlessly. I think it's a great system. It seems to work out of the box. I really haven't found any flaws with it yet, and I just wanted to share it with you guys. If you like these types of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Take a look at some of my other videos. At the very least, you might be entertained.